Hi, I'm Jen, and you know, uh, I always wanted to be a comedian. My, uh, my friends thought I was funny, and one of them told me that I was really lucky because I had a hook. But uh, unfortunately, I'm thinking about having that removed next year. Uh, he doesn't know yet. Uh, I'm trans, yeah. Uh, we're very popular right now. I mean, we're right up there. We're right up there with uh, French bulldogs and uh, high interest government bonds, you know. Uh, but uh, it's really been quite a journey so far. I mean, I've had uh, facial feminization surgery and a hair transplant. I'm uh, taking hormones and reading Judy Bloom. And uh, I'm growing a set of boobies that a 13-year-old girl would be very proud of. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a trip going through female adolescence at this point in my life. And I'm sure in the next year or two, I'm gonna just zoom straight to menopause and become my mother. But, uh, you know, that'd be okay, too, because I'm really enjoying my life right now. And I have to tell you, it wasn't always that way when I was living as uh, Jen's twin brother, Henry. Because, uh, well, you see, Jen and Henry had a secret. They were the same person and consequently couldn't appear in public together. Kind of like Clark Kent and Superman or uh, Michael Jackson and Diana Ross. Uh, but... It, it led to some interesting situations. There, there was one time I remember when Henry was dating this girl and she was, she was coming over for the weekend and I was cleaning up the apartment and I found a pair of pantyhose under the bed and without really thinking, I just put them up on the bureau. And uh, we had a lovely weekend and when she was packing to leave on Sunday, I remembered the pantyhose and said, hey Robin, I think you left a pair of your pantyhose here last weekend. And she looked at the pantyhose and she looked at me and she said, those aren't mine. And not only am I pissed off that you're screwing somebody else, but you're screwing a fat chick. <laughs> I was the fat chick. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out to most of my ex-girlfriends now and uh, none of them were particularly surprised. And there's, there's sort of a general agreement that I make a much better girlfriend than I ever did a boyfriend. So it's, it's all good. Um, now, you know the one thing that you never ask a trans woman? You never ask them if they've had the surgery down there, the genital confirmation surgery. We call it the bottom surgery. I mean, it's a very private thing. You just don't go there. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. <laughs> <laughs> Among ourselves, it's all we talk about. Girl, have you done it yet? Who are you going to? Which doctor? How much? When? Oh my God. Now. My friend Catherine, she had her surgery during the uh, great COVID summer of 2020. And uh, she'd originally wanted to go to Thailand. Well, because they make the best pussies. And uh, anyways, uh, since that part of the world was shut down due to the pandemic, she was gonna have to go domestic. And I knew of, I don't know, half a dozen doctors who did the procedure, but boy, was I in for an education. They're closer to 100. And they all have websites. And the websites all have photo galleries. <laughs> now, I don't know if any of you have ever remodeled a kitchen or a bathroom, <laughs> but you usually line up a choice of contractors and then you start taking a look at samples. <laughs> well, <laughs> I would go over to Catherine's house and there were pictures of vaginas all over the dining room table. I had not seen that many pictures of vaginas since my freshman year in boys' boarding school. And they were, they were really good. I mean, there were a couple ringers maybe, I don't know, and, and one that I thought might have been a playmate of the year, but uh, it, was, it was a good choice, uh, you know, to make your selection of doctors from. So she chose her doctor and went off to San Francisco and had her procedure, and it was successful, and she came back, and her, her Audi was now an innie, and uh, everything seemed to be fine. But uh, about six months later, uh, she wasn't happy with, uh, well, the way the drapes were hanging. And, and so she was going to go see this famous Beverly Hills gynecologist to the stars to, uh, to get a little revision to uh, have a labiaplasty. And the interesting thing was she had shown absolutely no interest in men. I mean, none whatsoever. And I remember saying to her at the time, you know, babe, you're remodeling the garage, but you're never gonna park a car there. <laughs> and, and she just smiled and went off and had her procedure. 
<laughs> and, uh, and then I heard back from her a few months later, and she, she called to tell me that she had indeed had a male visitor. Well, I was intrigued. I had to ask. I mean, did the lights work? Did the doorbell ring? I mean, come on. <laughs> well, the lights worked. The doorbell... Oh, I'm sorry. Well, are you going to see him again? Are you guys having a rematch? Well, that's the problem, Jen. I mean, I've texted and I've called and left messages, and he's just not getting back to me. It's almost like I'm being ghosted. And all I could think was, hey, welcome to being a chick. <laughs> I'm, I'm Jennifer North, the tall, willowy one with the husky voice.